The Honolulu Museum of Art is under construction. Now, there are many renovations already completed with more to come, and John went to find out about the changes as well as the classes that will fill some of those new classrooms. They are in the process of making some major upgrades here at the Honolulu Museum of Art, and here to tell us all about it is Amber and Joseph. Thank you so much for having me down. I always love my visits here. I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for coming. Thanks so much. Okay, let's start off uh, first where we are right now because we had to walk through some construction to get here. Tell us where we are. We're in one of the newly renovated studios in the Honolulu Muse Museum of Art School uh, in the Museum of Art building. We actually are getting a bit of a sneak peek walking through the construction. Tell us what other upgrades are going around because I know you were telling me uh, about the, the open space outside. What are you guys doing to this space? Sure, um, so we are, we have a brand new addition to the ceramic studio. So we've increased, increased the size of the studio by about 50%. Um, so we have a separate room for glazing and a, a brand new kiln house. Um, the printmaking studio is got a, has a totally new um, renovation. So we've got five new presses and a room dedicated just to silk screen. That's pretty amazing. You guys must be really excited. Yeah, I'm thrilled. Can't wait. Now, Amber, you're with Fiber Arts. Most, most kids nowadays will think that's something that you plug into a PlayStation. We're talking about something completely different. It's what we have out in front of us. Tell us what you do here. Um, so I'm the Fiber Arts Studio Programs teacher, and so I'm going to be teaching five adult classes and three classes for youth in fabric dyeing, stitching, embroidery, weaving, all sorts of intro activities so people can, beginners can dive right in, as well as all level classes for anyone that might have some experience. I love fabric dyeing myself, okay. so a lot of my work will uh, rotate around different kinds of fabric dyeing. This is a naturally dyed piece, a bundle dye, all made out of flowers. Wow. So all the colors are made out of flowers. Gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. I also love to stitch and embroider, so we're going to be doing an abstract stitching class using different kinds of stitch um, inspired by some of the pieces in the galleries to create an abstract piece. That is very, very cool. Some of the, some of the things I've only seen like on TV. Uh, now, I am interested in one other thing because it's, I mean, all of this is just gorgeous. But I'm looking at a machine. I love machines. I love tech. And this is so, it's pretty. It's really pretty. Tell me about this machine right here. So this is a Saori loom, and this is a really ingenious way to be able to create weavings. So it's simplified in a lot of ways that means that beginners can really get started really quickly. So there's only two heddles here, so you can create simple patterns or uh, complex patterns. But the two heddles are what lifts the yarn up, and there's two pedals, so it's just step on one, lift a heddle, step on the other, lift the other one. So it means you can get started immediately and have some deep satisfaction weaving very quickly. Something that takes a lot of uh, practice or? No, very first class people will be weaving. That's awesome. Okay, so tell me about the classes real quick. When are they? How can somebody get involved? So um, classes start uh, September 1st, but registration starts uh, for contributing members July 12th and then for everyone else on July 13th. Okay, and the everyone else is uh, my question to you. You guys offer other classes. Sure, yeah, we've got studio arts classes. As I said, we have printmaking, we have ceramics, we have drawing and painting classes, and all of those, there's a wide selection of different offerings. Okay, and how would somebody register for a class? Where can we go, where can they uh, call? So, um, you can go online, so uh, honolulumuseum.org, art classes, adult and youth. Uh, additionally, we have in-person registration um, on the 13th. Okay, perfect. Now, can you show me how to use that thing? Can you demonstrate it for us? What, Join the class. Out? There we go. Join the <laughs> class. That's a, that's a great catch. I appreciate you guys letting me down here. And maybe uh, when the camera turns off, you'll let me fiddle a little bit? Yes, yeah. absolutely. Okay. Sure. Perfect. Okay. Thank you guys so much. Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. How's that? I asked her to demonstrate. She's like, well, you'll have to come to the class. Just join the class. That's super, super good. And you know what? I, I do plan on taking a class. Yeah. There is a sewing class that there's a, oh. that may be coming up that I might be joining in because I want to learn how to do some with my sewing machine. Awesome. Uh, but okay. I'm so interested in that kind of stuff. It reminds me of, like Rapunzel. <laughs> you know, it's just it's just funny. I said that to them too that it does, it's a machine that looks kind of like something that was in the the, the loft. Uh, but they've got so many cool things, construction going on, mm -hmm. and they are expanding. It's going to be wonderful. It really will be. Oh, exciting yeah. things to come, and and so happy that finally after a few years, yeah. the classes are going to be yeah. back. And they still have some rules. You saw us wearing masks, um, mm -hmm. and that's perfectly fine. That's what they want. Um, but they've got a lot of cool things going on there. So. Awesome.